Hey guys, this is Dennis, the founder of Think Hero. And I'm David Griffin, your resident comic book and video game guru. And this is our review of X-Men Days of Future Past, the second trailer yeah. that just came out. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you think? Well, I have to, I guess, quote you. Uh, on AMC Movie Talk yesterday, you used the word potential. Yes. And I think that's a perfect way of describing this trailer. It's an amazing trailer, first of all. Uh, it looks great, the flow. I mean, like any great action movie, the best thing you can do is just stack the deck with incredible actors. That's what this movie has done. But like you said, this could be great. This could be maybe one of the better superhero movies ever made, but it might not be. It depends how they pull it off, depends how the script. Yeah. Brian Singer's taking the helm again. So it looks like everything's in place for this to be amazing. That's my first impression. But again, like you said, we'll have to see. Yeah, the keyword potential. It doesn't mean <laughs> when the movie comes out, it's going to be the greatest thing ever. I'm saying. Right. Based on the first trailer, which was awesome, right. and this second trailer, which is also awesome, yeah. and just the, the, the history of this, this storyline, you know, mm -hmm. this is kind of one of the more revered storylines of the X-Men universe. Right. Uh, it's actually not a very long storyline in the comic book. It's, it's, yeah, very it's, a few, short, it's a few issues. Two yeah. or three two, right. issues. They also uh, had tackled it in the, the cartoon series right, in the yeah, 90s. Yeah. They, they kind of stretched that one out a little bit longer. And, and so this is the, the movie version, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's not uh, Shadowcat slash Kitty Pride as the main right. character. But of course they weren't. I, I've seen some complaints about, you know, this like, oh, it's, they changed it. It's, that's why it sucks. You know, I, I'm yeah. sorry. Right. Like, listen, I, I'm a fan of this stuff, but I'm, I just don't consider like, this kind of extreme fanboyism where like you change something and it's like, oh, because I, I read people are talking, oh, the Magneto costume's wrong or this costume's wrong or da da da. It's not like it's in the comic book. Which part. I don't get because every if you're if you are a fan of comics, you know they change things all the time. Yeah. They rewrite history. Like if you're in the ultimate universe, they killed Peter Parker. There's a there's a black Spider-Man now. I mean, stuff changes all the time. There's no such thing in comic books is continuity. It does exist for a time. DC's gonna relaunch everything. Yeah. I mean, so it's like, if they change things, what's the big deal? Another complaint, everybody's like, oh, the, um, the Sentinels look different. Yeah. They don't look like they do in the series. I'm like, the Sentinels were created, I mean, I guess we could say this now, decades ago. It's mm -hmm. been, you know, years since then. Perceptions of artificial intelligence, of robots, views change. Watch Alien, the first movie, and look at the cockpit. Watch Prometheus and look at the cockpit. Mm -hmm. Why would you have a big, chunky supercomputer you can have something sleek and it looks like it moves better. I mean, like, technology changes. It's not going to look like it did in the 80s. And I think the essence <clears throat> of the Sentinels still remain. They are yeah. smaller right, than true, how they true, were in yeah, the comic true. book. But I think the design elements still, you know, right. resemble what the Sentinels were. And right. I thought one of the best shots was in the beginning of the trailer where you have those hundreds of Sentinels yeah, coming out. Yeah, yeah. And, and I like this kind of parallel storyline. I mean, they had that in the in the comic book storyline, right. but not to this extent. No. It was just Kitty Pride going back and forth and seeing what was going on in the present day and what right. was going on in the future. Right. This one is actually more of the, instead of, I don't know how much present day stuff there right. is, yeah. but it looks more like the, the 70s, the past, and then the future. Yeah. There's probably a little bit of present day stuff, but yeah. it's mostly the future and the in the past in the 70s. And I would say too, people who are a little bit hesitant, maybe friends of the com or sorry, uh, uh, fans, fans, fans of, of the comics who are, are super loyal to us, to, to give the movie a chance, you know, let these uh, actors do such a great job. I mean, Fassbender and James McAvoy, as Professor X and Magneto just tore it up last time. Yeah. They did such a good job. The movie wasn't perfect. It was not no. perfect, but they did such a good job. Like. Try to appreciate the film as a film, whether it follows the comic book exactly or not. Like, let the movie work as itself. Like, don't tie it down to mythology and lore, and it has to stick to that. Like, this is somebody's interpretation of a story. And of course, they're gonna revolve it around Wolverine. He's the That's most popular thing. character in the X Men franchise. And, like the new, well, the new poster. New poster is heavily featured. It's Jennifer Lawrence, mm -hmm. and it's Hugh Jackman. And this is just marketing. Jennifer Lawrence is hot right now. Yeah. She's huge. She's got, you know, uh, Hunger Games. She's got all these things going Yeah, on. when she first did First Class, she wasn't that big. No, and now it's the reason why it's her and Hugh Jackman, even though it is supposed to be Kitty Pride's story, it's, it's, it's her story in the comic books. You know, I'm sorry, but she's, you know, not as marketable as Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman is a house. I can tell my mom, hey, I'm going to see this movie with Hugh Jackman, and she'll know who that is. Whether she knows who Wolverine is or not, she's going to know who that is. Also Jennifer Lawrence. It's just it's marketing. It's Hollywood. This is the way things work. Yeah. You know? So I'm super excited. Yeah. I like I love this trailer. I think right. it's one of the best we've seen all year. It's a good looking and the trailer. movie's coming up pretty soon. May is May, not that yeah, not that out. far off. And then 
I'm sure it's going to lead into X-Men Apocalypse, yep. which they've been hinting at. Right, maybe a third Wolverine movie. Hugh Jackman said he'll he'll do another one if the script is right. I don't yeah. think he signed on, but he said. I if think the he's pretty close right. to signing, though. Yeah, he from might, what I've heard, because well. I think I think Mangold is coming back. Yeah, who I thought did a really good job with the lace last like one. That, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's going to get, and they already have a, a set date for it. So right, I yeah, think I think yeah. that's pretty close to being done. Right, so, right. but all right, guys. So that's what we thought of the trailer. You can let us know what you think. You can post your comments below on the website thinkhero.com or on our YouTube channel Think Hero Pro. Make sure to subscribe to that. Or you can find us on Twitter. You know, let Dennis and I know if you're, you know, if you're hesitant about the movie, if you're excited, if you're, you know, like the comics better, or you just don't really care either way. Uh, find out. Let us know uh, at Think Hero. I'm at Griffin De. And we also have a Facebook page. That's facebookcom fans. Make sure to like that page yeah. and share our videos on Twitter, Facebook, and other social media.